are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, NBA Finals game number six was last night an elimination game, and the Milwaukee Bucks won the 2021 NBA championship over the Phoenix Suns. Now, Giannis, unfortunately, nobody actually watched this game because I'm pretty sure the ratings are going to be pretty pathetic. Uh, the series, I believe, is probably going to end up being the lowest rated NBA Finals of all time outside of the bubble uh, championship last season. However, it's unfortunate because Giannis actually had an all time spectacular game. He actually scored 50 points. This is one of the highest scoring games in an NBA Finals elimination game ever. And guys, he did it without a super team. I said it on uh, the Sports Wars live stream on Sunday. I believe that the era of the super teams is over for the next few years. Now, you may say that the the Brooklyn Nets, you know, they have Kevin Durant, they have um, Kyrie Irving, they have James Harden. I do believe they're a bit injury prone. I really, really do. I think LeBron James, he's done winning championships as well. Anthony Davis can't stay healthy. LeBron James seems to be a bit injury prone as well. I'm not saying that a super team can't be built again, but I believe it is over for the next few years at least. And the Bucks winning this championship it would one would actually think that this would actually be a good thing for the league. And I believe that it is a good thing for the NBA. But the NBA has many, many more problems, you know, than, you know, the super teams, the wokeness, LeBron James, the bubble that destroyed the NBA. And people have tuned out. They have. But however, on the basketball court, we know that Giannis is absolutely a spectacular player. No doubt about it. Two time MVP. Defensive Player of the Year, and now Finals MVP and NBA champion. However, during the uh, postgame uh, speeches and everything, Giannis seemed to take a shot at one Kevin Durant and LeBron James. So we're going to be diving into what he actually had to say in this video, guys. I found this to be absolutely hilarious. And by the way, this is the final day, folks, to get 25% off anything in a merch store when you use the discount code banana boat. So with that being said, let's dive into this. It says joining a super team would have been the easy way, but this is the hard way. <laughs> that is the words of uh, Giannis. It says uh, taking a subtle shot at Kevin Durant and LeBron James after winning the 2021 NBA championship boy. And we know that, uh, Kevin Durant, I've already said this about Kevin Durant. I believe that his two titles really does not enhance his legacy. I mean, this is a man that blew a 3-1 lead to the Warriors, and then he ended up jumping ship to go to the Warriors that really didn't even need him because they had already, already won a title and they won 73 games. Yes, Kevin Durant was the finals MVP, but those championships were easy. And there's no doubt about it. Those championships were easy. Everybody knew that the Warriors were, were going to be an absolute joke. They were going to smoke the league because they got Kevin Durant. It was essentially the all Madden team. You know, when you play your fr friends on Madden, you're not supposed to use the all Madden team because it's unfair. LeBron James, too. He has built super teams as well. He has. And. When you look at LeBron James's career, this is a man that will jump ship and create super team after super team after super team. And I believe this is a very good thing that Giannis actually stayed with the Bucks. I know that the media was saying, oh, he's going to leave. He should jump ship, you know, create a super team. He didn't do that. He didn't do that, folks. So the 50 year drought for the Bucks is over with. It says here on the sports rush here, the two time MVP had a had a historic playoff run and clearly saved his best for last. Giannis had a had a historical game six, putting up a magnificent 50 points, 14 rebounds and five blocks. Man, unfortunately, nobody actually watched this game. Preventing the Phoenix Suns to force a game seven, 
After leading his Bucks team to a 105-98 win, Giannis has successfully overcome an 0-2 deficit to be named a champion. Several analysts, fans, and even former NBA legends have suggested that Giannis join a super team this past offseason when he decided to sign a five-year, $228 million Supermatch contract. Cut to today, Giannis has won his maiden NBA championship ring playing for the same team that drafted him eight years ago. Now, this is loyalty you don't normally see in today's NBA players staying with their team and winning championships. You just don't see that. But it says here also without needing any superstar to help him. During his emotional postgame interview, Giannis gave a special shout out to all the doubters who had suggested he left Milwaukee or he should leave Milwaukee, I guess, to join a super team. Giannis simply said, quote, I could have gone to a super team, but this is the hard way to do it. And I did it. Now, folks, make no mistake about it. I truly believe that was a shot at one LeBron James. That was a shot at Kevin Durant. Now, LeBron James has won four NBA titles. Kevin Durant, too. And on. On LeBron James's three of four LeBron James titles, he had three all stars. Very, very inorganic. It was a plot for him to actually go to Miami and collude with with his boy D Wade and Chris Bosh to create a super team. And then he only went back to Cleveland because I guess he felt the pressure. But also he wanted to make sure he had a ready made team in place. With uh, Kyrie Irving and also bringing up, bring along Kevin Love, another all star. This is what LeBron James did. And I believe that was not good for the league. And what Kevin Durant did, that was not good for the league. The good thing about the Bucks is it was organic. You know, the Bucks actually had to do their homework as a team. Upper management was allowed to actually do that job and build the team. Now, I'm not saying that. Um. Management couldn't go out and, you know, and get other pieces or anything. But this wasn't the the players colluding and destroying the league because I believe that inorganic super teams are not good for the league. People are going to say, oh, the Lakers in the 80s, you know, they were a super team. So was the uh, the Celtics. Yeah, but that was definitely organic. I mean, Larry Bird was not colluding with Magic Johnson to go to the Lakers. And also Magic Johnson was not colluding with Larry Bird to go to the Celtics. These players today, they do that. So I do respect that Giannis stayed with his team. Hopefully, you know, this puts puts the NBA in a much better place, but I believe that the damage is done way too far now. LeBron James has destroyed the league way, way too much. The social justice stuff, the line, the police stuff, it's not good. It's not good. I believe, and I said it before, LeBron James needs to retire. Adam Silver needs to go. Now, I'm also going to place a little bit of blame on the Bucs, too, because you remember in that NBA bubble. They actually walked out and they started the boycotting of games over Jacob Blake, a criminal. They did that, and I'm going to blame them as well, in addition to LeBron James and Kevin Durant. But on the basketball court, this is a good thing that the Bucs won. It would have been good for the league if um, Phoenix won, too, because those teams were built more organically than any of Kevin Durant's or LeBron James's teams. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.